Run us through your thoughts on the Flinders. Beautiful. Um, hard to describe, I reckon, mm. without actually seeing it in person. It's quite impressive. It's almost as breathtaking as Uluru, if not better. Mmm, yeah. be cool, but I, I agree. Yeah. yeah, it's kind of the same but different. Like when the sun sort of hits the mountains, you're a bit like, wow, this is very lucky to be an Australian and yeah. to be at home. That's, what, that's my personal opinion. It's, yeah, we're pretty blessed. It's pretty good. Well, Holly said today we've been here back every year since it's, we first came yeah. here. Yeah, 2019, 2020, 21, 22. So. Always go. We can't. We can't stop that kind of streak. It's pretty good. Yeah, we we'll have to keep it going. All right, Cam. What do you think about the Flinders, mate? Give us a quick rundown of it. I don't think there's anywhere else like it. Um, it's different. You, I wouldn't have expected these pines here. Um, there's moss growing in the creek beds, but then you know, five k up the road, you're in really sparse desert country that can barely be grazed. Like. It's really different to anywhere else, especially all the geological formations, the, the stone just popping out of the countryside all around the place, rolling big hills. Um, and we're probably here at a really good time too because it's green. It's just as green. It's not a desert. It's not arid country. It doesn't look like it anyway. It's pretty special. I would agree with all that. Yeah, no, it's looking really good at the moment. They've had, had like a few decent sort of seasons like a bit of rain anyway from when we were here last or living here so yeah it's looking really good for me it's the colors i reckon mm. colors in the flinders sunrise sunset it's matt it's matt's camp cooking show so we actually won't take the piss for this one we'll actually give you what i think might be a good recipe um cam's been making it he made it on our first night in Collyambly and I was actually blown away. It's damper, but I feel like damper is really easy to make dry. It's like, you know, dry or a bit unimaginative. If you put a little bit of effort in, you can make a really good damper. And I know Cam's got the recipe for you. So run us through what you do, mate. It's basically a scone recipe. And most people that know how to make scones or damper should be using this one pretty much because it's, it's easy, it's cheap, and it's mm, delicious. It's delicious. So and what's the what's the secret? Kneading the butter through. Kneading the butter through the flour. Not just any butter. Butter in a block. Butter in a stick. <laughs> so there's no context to that joke, but it has been a joke this trip. Um, and it is it is the secret butter. <laughs> Not just this butter, but any any good butter, organic if you want. If that's your flavour. Um, but good quality butter. Knead it through the dough or through the through the flour before you actually turn it into dough and a pinch of salt. Sold me on it. All right, we'll, make it. we'll start making it now because it, it really takes a little will. while to cook up. So yeah, the raisins through it are really nice. We, we haven't been putting the raisins through it. It's really good. It's dessert. Oh. All right. And it's just eyeballing because it doesn't really matter how much flour you put in. You just got to put enough water in to make it into a, a dough. So if you've got four people, you want to put I don't know, enough flour for four people. Um, it's hard to sort of gauge. I'll just pour it in and we'll see what it turns out like. Very good. Let's start it. Well, that's probably enough. That'd be about a bit bigger than the one we had the other night. Okay. That's probably what half a cup there. About half a cup of butter. I've just made it into cubes to make it a bit easier to knead through. And probably a pinch of salt, which is. Yeah, that much. <laughs> now we need. <laughs> need it through. You gotta have pretty nice, like delicate fingers to really get it in there, and you gotta have it's a bit of a technique. It's to a it. technique. Yeah. Magic yeah. fingers. I wasn't born with with delicate fingers, but I've made to <laughs> made them work over time. Every morning he's got a routine. Yeah. He could just he's got a real nice technique to massaging it in. So you know, it's a real art. It is a learned a learned art, a learned <laughs> habit, if you will. Thanks, mate. Butter's so needed through. you kneaded the butter with yep. your beautiful hands yep. and Dexterous. the technique. Yep. Techers. Now, typically, you make a well. And pour a bit of water in the well. 
You just eyeballing that, mate? Just eyeballing. If you give us a, a rough guesstimate of millage, what do you reckon? Oh, so... What's your ratio of flour to water? That's better. As, that, much, that, as, as much as you need. That looks... Yeah, okay. It's better. about a cup. Yeah. So, you'll know... It's up to your intuition. You'll know when you mix it through. And, um... So, you're just going to fold it through that by folding it through. Try not to break your well up. Oh, little... oh so he's got a little circle technique on the outside of the well. I like it. Mixing it in. Because the aim of the game is to not muck about with the dough as much as you possibly can. So, so I don't overwork the dough. I don't overwork. So about oh. here, we've sort of worked a bit in. Bung in your raisins. Bung in some raisins. Oh. Probably about. So obviously, this is a bit of a dessert. Uh, this is a dessert style damper. of damper. We've been having it with just about a kilo of butter each slice and golden syrup. It's about <laughs> amazing. Half a pack of them, I guess. I don't know. You probably put them all in. Let's just let we live on the edge. Wait, so let's rip. Go. Yeah, let's do it. Wow. Quite, a lot, quite a lot in there. On the edge tonight. Now, You're oh, going to be staying up all water. night with that sugar. A bit more water. Ooh. And it's only as much as you need, so you just keep working it until you use up all the dry flour and she forms a nice dough ball. So we're getting close. So you don't need it? You don't have to need it or anything, do you? Don't have to need it. Do you let it rise? You can, and I do. Yes. So we're a bit more on the ball tonight. The other nights we've been waiting for a fair while for the damper. Like we put on a bit late, and um, it's pretty funny. We're all sort of like, "Oh, was it worth it? Was it worth it?" And then we eat it, and we're all just like, "Yeah, it was 100% worth waiting for the damper." <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. So you could probably actually dust that with a bit more flour. We'll do that in a moment. She'll be a, a dough to set to rise. Look at that. There you go, everyone. Good damper. Just need the buttery. That's the, that's the tackers. Reg would be proud. Reckon it'd make their book. They've definitely got some recipes in here. Oh, Harry, Harry, though, maybe we'll challenge Harry to do this. Need a bit of butter through your damper, and you might like it. So Holly has been in here editing while we've been out here cooking but also having fun. <laughs> so you better you better really like the episode guys because Holly's <laughs> been putting in the hard yards to get it done. Mm. When are we gonna what day is it today? Sunday today. So it should have been out today. Well, it shouldn't have been. We missed we've now missed two weeks, which is fine. But um, it'll hopefully go out next Saturday next Saturday or Sunday. So get it to out patrons tomorrow day so if you want to get our episodes a week early sign up to our patron we have links i'll pop a link up here so yeah we really appreciate the support but yeah it'll be out next week yeah we do love our patrons yeah we do i i, I don't feel like we do enough for them so if you are a patron thank you so much <laughs> <laughs> all right so we've just had dinner washing up We've got the shower tent set up tonight. It's really windy and we're all going to have showers because we all feel a bit grotty. Because we're in the Flinders, there's slate in the riverbeds, like flat slate. I'll show you what Cam has done in our shower tent. <laughs> Tiled slate floor in the shower tent. Beautiful. So this morning we've just woken up, had a quick breakfast, had some porridge and now we're about to get back on the road. The road, we're going to go into Blinman today, we're going to check out a few little things, probably going to do the mine tour, yep. which we've never done before, we've tried to do it a few times, so keen to do that, go to see some indigenous art and also a little jewellery store that's sort of opened up, it's really really cool, so, yeah. and probably have lunch at the pub. Yeah, so a few things so to do. pretty cruisy day. Yeah. Not too much driving. 
but should be nice. Yeah, we'll it's a bit o- yeah, a bit overcast today, so we'll go into town check the weather. So hopefully, it'll clear because we have a few sunsets and sunrises planned that hopefully we can see. Crack on to it. All right, we we'll get to it. Well, we have had a very good day. We um, pulled into Blinman this morning after doing the rest of that four-wheel drive track, which was really cool. Um, would definitely recommend doing that road. We'll show you a map of where exactly we went. Um, but yeah, definitely recommend doing that road if you're in the Flinders. Really good way to see Moolu Station and Angrichna Station. Um, and yeah, then went to the pub for lunch. We then did the mine tour, which was really cool. In the couple of years that Matt and I uh, lived out here, we had never done the mine tour. So that was really awesome to see. I think I didn't expect the mine to be so extensive. So really, really cool thing to see. And yeah, then we went to Wadna. So Wadna is a um, Aboriginal art and gift store. Matt and I ended up purchasing a beautiful piece of art, which we're so excited about and so happy about. There was one piece that we saw um, before we went into the mine tour, had a look at it, really liked it. And there was someone inquiring on purchasing it. Anyway, we were like, no, we'll leave it. We'll go to the mine tour, come back, and if it's still there, we'll buy it. Anyway, obviously we got back and it was sold, so that was a bit disheartening, but then they ended up pulling out this other piece that we just, as soon as it rolled out, Matt and I were like, yep, let's buy that. So we purchased that. Christian and Gabby, um, if you're watching this, thank you so much. We absolutely love it and can't wait to get it home, get it stretched and then get it up on the wall. But yeah, it's been a really nice day. Just watched sunset up on Glass Gorge Lookout with Camera Court. Um, yeah, now we're just up, pulling up to camp. Matt's walking around trying to take photos of an emu. And yeah, it's been really, really fun. So we were just saying it's so nice to actually come back and enjoy the ranges. We obviously loved it when we lived here but we're mainly always working, so it's really nice just to come and hang out. So I think we're gonna go find camp, hopefully try and find somewhere a little bit sheltered because it's quite windy. Did you get the photos? Oh no, it bolted as soon as it saw me. Oh no. <laughs> All right, so we've just got into camp here and back in uh, Parachuna Gorge. There's just so many fantastic camps along here. We managed to find one sort of with a fair bit of protection because it's quite windy tonight, uh, just in the sort of leeward side of one of the sort of the cliffs here. Um, that's really good. 
Had a really good day. We pretty much just drove from Ardemore Ruins uh, back around to Blinman, which is a really fun drive. Um, some fun little fall driving we did and stuff just to have a go, see what the vehicles could do. Uh, then we did the mine tour, which is fantastic. Uh, if you're in the area, I would definitely recommend doing the mine tour in Blinman, Copper Mine. Uh, uh, we got a uh, meal at pub, that was really nice. And then we bought some art at uh, Wadna, the um, local indigenous sort of art workshop slash sort of, yeah, art gallery. Um, it's amazing. If you're in the area, definitely go. You really get some like really good prices on really incredible, well-known indigenous artists. So it's well worth it. So we're just going to cook up some uh, corn galah jaffles tonight. We've already prepped them. Uh, we're going to get the fire going. <laughs> They're all prepped in here, ready to go. Beautiful. Beautiful. So we're pretty much just going to cook cook one corn galah sandwich at a time, cut it into fours, eat it, put the next one on, just slowly sit down around the fire and eat them. Which I reckon sounds pretty good. Can't wait. It'll be delicious. <laughs> all right, I'm going to yeah Beautiful. get stuck into some galah, get the fire going. We got up and watched sunrise up at Glass Gorge Lookout, which was really nice. And now we're just back down at camp making some breakfast. So, uh, rustling up some beans. Tritzo beans, a bit of onion, garlic, all sorts in it. Be delicious. We've got the fire going over here. Cam and Cord have got that going. Yeah, should be good. We're at the top of Razorback Lookout here. It's probably one of the more famous lookouts in Australia for obvious reasons. You've just got this awesome road snaking around. You've got the ranges in the background and we're just gonna sit here for sunset and uh, watch the colors change, probably get a time lapse started and just, yeah, enjoy ourselves and relax. Um, I don't really have much more to add. What do we do today? What do today? you guys reckon? <laughs> uh, what do we do today? What did we do today? What did we do? We drove through Bratchner. Oh yes, we drove through Brashna Gorge, saw a little yellow footed rock wallaby. Um, it's a really, really nice drive. If you're in the area, definitely just, just do it. Brashna and Bunyaroo Gorge drive. Uh, and then we're camping at Aruna Ruins Campground tonight and doing a walk tomorrow morning to Red Hill Lookout. Uh, so yeah, probably just sit back and might crack a beer and enjoy the sunset. This is what Mackay, <laughs> this is what Mackay and Holiday looks like. I'm filming, by the way. <laughs> oh, okay. Caught taking photos. No, I've almost got the shot. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> On our way back to camp from Razorback. Sorry, it might be a bit loud with the corrugations. Quite a few corrugations. Um, it only took us half an hour to get here from Marina, so a bit of a quick drive, and we'll be back at camp, and then we'll get some dinner on. So 
So I've just turned the key off, I've just turned the ignition off and the engine's still running, so the edict motor's playing up. I think all the electrics just got jiggled around while we were actually driving. It's been doing it in the morning, but anyway, I've just got to pop the fuel arm off. So turn it off. And then she's off. Hang on. Just for the life of me, just can't figure out these electrics. So, we've been, I've done that many, that many things to them. I've had about, I think I've had five auto elects look at it. I've, had, I've changed the starter motor, um, rewired all the fusible links. It's just somewhere in here. It's just. Not great. Hugging. Oh, I don't know. Need a new wiring loom. <laughs> the white, everything seems to be going off when we break and it, everything pushes forward, and I don't know why. That's because it would have gone and it was falling off. Yeah. How good is it? That's an easy fix. <laughs> oh! Sweet! Is it fixed? <laughs> Best kind of problem. <laughs> Having the negative on the battery helps, eh? <laughs> oh, man. Who know, what, oh, that could have been like all our issues. I don't know. Oh. We'll find out, I guess, soon enough. That's how cold it is. <laughs> Bit chilly in the flinders at the moment. So last night we kept the heater blanket on all night. Uh, we've only had that twice before. One in gunning. I can't remember the other, but it just has to be really cold for that to happen. Kurong. Uh, Kurong. That's right. Um, and here we are. So it's twice in South Australia now. <laughs> um, yeah. But anyway, good sleep. Really good sleep. Actually, we got to bed pretty early, and we're just gonna. Have a quick coffee, get cracking. So we, it's probably like quarter to seven, ten to seven, and um, we went the wrong way. <laughs> the issue with this hike is you get to a T junction, and there is a map, but it's not overly well signed as to which way to go. There's not really a lot of pegs to follow either. No. And then there was this another sign that Matt saw that said all hikers this way. But we think that's for the Hasten Trail, which is a really big hike through the whole Flinders. Anyway, so we just crested a hill, <laughs> made our own trail, went high enough, realised we were probably on the wrong way. So Matt's legged it. The three of us are just kind of moseying behind. Um, but yeah, probably missed sunrise, but all part of the adventure. It's just annoying because um, we, yeah, Matt and I have done this once before. First time we nailed it, second time doing it, the people were <laughs> up. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> you go the wrong direction. <laughs> Whoopsie. You can see the sun, it was hitting the mountains behind us. Still got three minutes for sunrise, but we kind of missed the jaw dropping change of colours. We got a long uphill slope still. Yeah. <laughs> It's so funny, From we saw this mountain from the other one we hiked and we are like, I wonder if that's it. We're like, nah, it's too far away, it's the mountain. So, we're almost there. So, we made it. We totally missed sunrise. The sun is over here behind us. Camera quarters were coming up. It's just so annoying. We nailed it the first time we did it four years ago, this time with friends. They, um, Camber Corp didn't bother downloading maps or anything because they're like, oh, holy mountain, where they're going. Still a nice view. We were on this mountain over here. We just climbed up to see if we made it. But it wasn't as good as the view as this, so that's why we came this way. But still pretty cool. Still a really cool lookout and vantage point. Just make sure when you get to the T-junction, go right. <laughs>
So we're back at camp. We ended up doing an extra 4K hike this morning, so 12Ks in total. But we did make it up to the lookout, which was really quite nice. Uh, once we got up there, we're just packing up camp. That's filling up our water tanks. And yeah, we're just getting ready to move on. We're actually heading back to Parachuna today and we're gonna have dinner at the pub tonight. So they now opened um, bookings up for people who aren't staying there. You just need to make a reservation, set menu. Um, I think it's $95 a head, but yeah, it's gonna be really excited for it. Really nice food. Um, yeah, and then the boys, Court and I are gonna stay and do some washing. The boys are gonna do a supply run up to Lee Creek because tomorrow we have to be up in Murray very early for something very fun. So might not be too much exploring or anything today um, but yeah we may or may take the cameras with us we'll see anyway we'll get to it thanks so much for joining us as we explored the Flinders Ranges we definitely recommend you put this place on your bucket list if you haven't visited as always thanks so much for watching if you've enjoyed this video hit the thumbs up and if you're new make sure you subscribe we've got a lot of new exciting content coming your way soon